Hey, Woodmont family. I'm Jenny Simmons, the Youth Ministry Coordinator here with today's 7 at 7. I am in my car outside of my parents' house in Dallas, Texas, um, because I literally could not go on with life anymore in quarantine by myself with two little girls doing seminary classes and trying to juggle work. It was all too much. So I showed up here and my parents the saints that they are have taken over praise be because i was at the end of my rope um they're inside playing some sort of crazy game right now and so i'm taping this from the car i'm so glad to be here and i'm really grateful that i got to be here for memorial day it's memorial day week and my family um comes from a long line of military service on both sides my mom's side of the family my dad's side of the family um everybody is in the military in my family my dad actually retired last year um as a one-star general he was the chief of chaplains for the uh, united states air national guard air force um working at the pentagon and so as we were watching the Memorial Day service together, um, it, you know, we're very patriotic and we get a little emotional about it. We're that family. Um, and I, I looked at my dad for a second and all of a sudden this moment flashed into my, my mind. I remember being a little girl and my dad coming in in the mornings as I was getting ready for school and he was coming home um, from a job that, um, that he didn't want to work. Uh, my parents moved us to Texas from Mississippi when I was a little girl um, and my two sisters so that they could go to seminary. They moved away from friends and away from family, away from their support system um, in their 30s with, with three girls under the age of seven and started school full time. And when they graduated, um, my mom got a job at a church that she loved, but my dad did not get the job that he wanted. And over and over again, didn't get the jobs that he wanted. And um, really quickly it became apparent that this is not the ending that he thought uh, would happen after he graduated from school. Instead of working at a church or um, in some sort of ministry position, he was bagging papers uh, for the Dallas Morning News. He would leave the house at three in the morning and he would go and bag papers. And then he would come home and make us breakfast and help us get our lunches packed and get us to school and then he would go work as a security guard at a hospital, um, a security guard at a mental institution, um, doing jobs that he didn't train for and that he didn't want um, because that wasn't the end of the story that he had imagined for himself. But when I think back to my dad during that time, what sticks out to me is that he had a depth of faith that left a mark on me. Um, instead of getting outwardly frustrated and angry and resentful, um, what he said instead were the words of Psalm 27. And he would say it over and over and over again. I remain confident of this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I love that my parents spoke scripture over us all the time as little girls growing up because that's what's in my heart and that's what's in my head when I am walking through a situation. It's those words and those verses that come to mind. And over and over and over again, I don't know what he said behind closed doors, but in front of us, in front of his daughters, he said all the time, I remain confident of this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And it etched itself into my heart. Um, Back then, nobody knew the end of his story. He didn't know. He didn't know that he would become a lieutenant colonel and a colonel. Nobody in their wildest dreams ever guessed my dad would end up being a one-star general, um, running the entire chaplain corps for the Air National Guard, serving 43 years, one of the longest standing service members when he retired last year in the entire military, 43 years of service. Nobody would have ever guessed that story. He certainly didn't. Because when he was in that season, it felt very dark and it felt very hopeless and non, never ending. It just, it just kept going on and on, hitting these dead ends. And yet he believed and he had this faith that he would see God's goodness in the land of the living. That God was faithful, that God would make a way, um, that God would be true to who God is, um, which is way maker. And so I'm really grateful for that season that I can look back and remember that I had somebody in my life who showed me what it looks like to wake up and to keep going, knowing that where we're at right now 
isn't the end of the story. Um, I remember the day my mom came and took us out of school because dad had gotten a job and she took us out of school early and we went to the steak and ale to have a celebration dinner because it was a really big deal. We were all crying and all excited. And it was this beautiful moment of realizing as a kid, oh, wait a minute, God is faithful. That wasn't the whole thing. And what a beautiful gift to be able to step back and evaluate a life and realize that season that I was in, that was not the full story. That wasn't. It wasn't the full picture. It was not the finish line. It was not the last chapter. Whatever season that you might find yourself right in, right now in, it might be a great season. It might be a hard season. It might be a challenging season. This season that we're in, this, this virus, this isn't the end of our story. This isn't where it ends. This is only temporary. I saw a lady at the airport a few years ago. At, I was at O'Hare Airport, and she was an older woman walking towards me. She had a walker, and I thought there was, there was a sign on it, and I thought it was her name. But as she got closer, I looked at it and read it, and it stuck with me forever um, because the sign said, Only temporary. Only temporary. Wherever you are today, and we are collectively in a season that is incredibly hard, I want to be the voice that reminds you that this is only temporary. Maybe you are estranged from somebody in your family that you love. Maybe you're walking through illness. Maybe you are trying to juggle um, working from home and taking care of young kids. Maybe you are wondering how you're going to pay the paycheck um, and the bills because the paycheck's not coming in. Whatever it is, hear the, the voice of God remind you today that this is only temporary that there will be a new season, that there will be a next page, that there will be a new chapter. We started off quarantine with the students by reading from Ecclesiastes about how there is a time for every season under heaven. There is a time to mourn and there is a time to dance. There is a time for things to die and there is a time for things to be born. There are time to tear things down and there is a time to build things back up. I pray today that the words of Psalm 27 might guide you, might inspire you, might give you hope and peace. They say this, Psalm 27, 13 and 14, I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Amen.